this video, we're going to talk about learning how to measure and classify angles. So why do I need to learn this? I have to be able to learn about the different kinds of angles, be able to identify them and measure them because it will help me later on when I'm learning how to solve. So first thing we're going to do is talk about how to name angles. So I have an angle drawn down here, this guy right here. This part right here, um, it's called the vertex of the angle. It's like the point of the angle or the actual angle. And we learned that we name points with capital letters. So because angles um, are made up of rays um, that have points on them, we're going to name them with all capital letters. So if I'm looking at this angle right here, I can just say, well, this is angle A. You'll notice um, that I have two other points on here because my angle is made up of rays. It's made up of ray AB and it's made up of ray AD. So when I'm naming an angle, I can also call it, um, I can also name it with three letters. I can say if I trace my angle that this is angle B, A, D. Now I can also go the other way. I can say, well, this is actually also angle D, A, B. And the reason why it's important to know that we can name with three points as opposed to just one is because not all angles are just going to be one angle. If I draw in another ray from my angle vertex, we'll call this C, ray A, C. Now, I can't just say, okay, well, I'm looking at angle A, because if I look at and say, well, I'm talking about angle A, you might see that I'm talking about this angle. I might mean I'm talking about this angle. And somebody else will, might say, well, wait a minute, what about the original one that we started with, the big guy? That's why it's important that we know how to name angles with three letters so that we can be specific about which angle A we're talking about. So if I'm looking at my green angle, okay, my green angle is I'm gonna trace where it's coming from. So it's B, A, C. So this is actually angle B, A, C. Now, can I go backwards? Can I go the other way? Sure. It's also C, A, B. Okay, what about my orange guy? Well, my orange one, I'm going to trace my angle, C, A, D. So this is angle C, A, D. Now, can I go the other way? Sure. It could also be D, A, C. And what I originally wrote up here is my big one or my big or my blue angle. So now that I know how to name an angle, let's talk about the different kinds of angles that we have and how to measure them. So types of angles. We have four types of angles um, that we classify. So the first one is called an acute angle. An acute angle is an angle that is between zero and 90 degrees. It's a small angle and I like to remember it like this. Oh, what a cute little angle. Okay, it's just a little guy. It's like a little baby angle. It's going to be smaller than 90 degrees. Next, we have an obtuse angle. Okay, an obtuse angle is a big angle. It's an angle that's between 90 and 180 degrees. So it's not a cute little guy. It's a big one. Um, and it's going to be more than 90 but less than 180. The reason why that's important is because an angle that's exactly equal to 90 degrees is what we call a right angle. It looks like this. And you'll always know that it's a right angle because you can draw or it will always have drawn for you this square in the corner, which means that we're talking about a right angle or an angle that's 90 degrees. And then the last kind of angle that we have is a straight angle, which is equal to exactly 180 degrees and a straight angle is a straight line. So the last part we're going to talk about in this video is how to measure angles. So a protractor looks like this guy right here. This thing is called a protractor. It's used to measure angles. So when I measure angles, this part right here, this T right in the middle, is the part that's going to go on your angle vertex. 
and depending on which way your angle is facing will determine which set of numbers that you use. So you'll notice that there's two sets of numbers. So if I'm looking at the outer set, on the left it starts at zero and climbs all the way up to 180. But if I look at the inner set, the zero is on the other side and goes to 180 the other way. So that's why it's important to know, are you looking at an acute angle or are you looking at an obtuse angle so that you know which set of numbers to use. So we're gonna measure the angles below. Um, I drew out the angles for you in green, so I hope that you can see them okay. So I'll kind of go over it with you. So you'll notice that my T is pointed, is on my vertex. So here's my angle here. So the first thing we have to decide is, is this an, is this an obtuse or an acute angle? Is it big or is it, oh, it's a cute little angle. It's a big one. It's, so this is going to be an obtuse angle. So I'm gonna use this set of numbers because when I get to here, because you'll have to see, I'm gonna zoom this in, my angle is right here. So we have to say, okay, where is that? It looks to me like it's either on, so it's right here, this line. So I would say that that's either 31, or if I'm counting this way, it looks like it's 151. So we said we decided that it's an obtuse angle. So which one of these is going to be obtuse? 31 or 151? Yeah, that's right, 151, because an obtuse angle is bigger than 90, but smaller than 180. Okay, and we're gonna look at the last one here, angle X. All right, so again, you'll notice that my vertex is on this T here in my protractor. And so I'm gonna kind of zoom in and see, this one is a little bit hard. It looks like it's kind of, I'm gonna zoom this in a little bit more. It looks like it's smack dab in the middle, right here between 25 and 26. So I'm gonna say that this is about 25 and a half degrees if I'm going this way, but if I'm measuring this way, I'm looking at about 100 and, so this is 150, 151, 152, 153, 154, 154 and a half degrees. Okay, so is this an obtuse angle or an acute angle? This is a cute little angle. It's smaller than 90 degrees. So that means that 25 and a half degrees is going to be the measure of angle X. And you write it out like this. The measure of angle X is equal to 25 and a half degrees. And we'll write out the other one. The measure of angle W is equal to 151 degrees. Okay, so let me know if you have any questions about angle measures um, or different types of angles. Good luck.